We owe a lot to Lil Nas X. His way of being unapologetically gay in an environment that's not very well known for being pro-LGBT has blown open issues that I didn't think would ever be addressed in my lifetime. So many reactions to Lil Nas X in the hip-hop community have been overwhelmingly positive. Enough that it has honestly sometimes brought me to tears. I mean, not like weeping for a long time, but just like, wow, this, this is nice, you know? Several years ago, I don't even know quite how many years ago, five, maybe six years ago, I had described that if I had to choose between two scenarios, both of them being down a dark alley, and in one scenario I have to walk past a group of five people dressed in gang attire, and the other scenario is the same alley, but it's five people dressed in Nazi attire. Which one did I choose at that time? And at that time I chose to walk past the people wearing Nazi attire, because I somehow felt that they were less of a threat to me. Some of it is because I have always felt that the black community is much better at detecting bullshit because of what they've had to go through. And my gruff appearance does not match my personality. And part of why I do the whole gruff appearance is, I mean, besides I just like it, but it's so people mess with me less often. In this country, guys have to put up a front or be messed with. That's just how it is. I mean, things have gotten a lot better over the years, but the element is still there. It's part of some of the toxic standards we still teach men to have. Men who are feminine in this society still have a harder time unless they're really, really focused on really feminine things. You know, like makeup, right? I sure wish there were more positive male role models. Even if fictional, you know, totally fictional, whatever. You know, more positive male role models. People that aren't... that... It's not this impossible standard. You know, it's... It's not like a superhero, you know? Some, something realistic and positive. It'd be nice. So anyway, um, I used to think that the people dressed in Nazi attire wouldn't be able to guess that I'm gay as easy as the people in the gang attire. So that's what I thought made me safer, you know, if I was in that kind of a scenario, right? Sadly, that's how anti-gay I used to think that people wearing... I mean, I'm calling it gang attire. I don't know what the right term is, and I apologize for that. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to start anything. I'm not trying to, to be judgmental. I, I am just, that's a label that I give it because I, I don't know another label. And I, I hope people know what I'm even talking about. And let's be clear, you know, I would much rather not have to walk past any group of people down some dark alley at night, you know? But since then, I had gotten a much better understanding. Seeing these reactions to Lil Nas X, it's really cemented in the fact that LGBT has gotten acceptance in areas I thought were impossible. And that's just amazing to me. I'm very thankful. Ooh.